World Bank says Europe's debt crisis will hold back global growth. Chief economist Koshik Basu is in Tokyo for the bank's annual meeting. He told Mike Fern a complete recovery is years away. We are talking in terms of two, two and a half years, maybe three years of a choppy ride. Uh, there is probably going to be a bit of another uh, turbulence felt at the end of 2014, 2015, when European banks will have to repay a huge amount that they've uh, taken from the ECB. So yes, there is a tough time ahead. Uh, however, the European Central Bank, by injecting liquidity into the system, has bought precious time. It has not solved a problem, but it has bought time for Europe. So the hope is that through this turbulent two and a half, three years ahead of us, Europe will put into place reforms, and there are signs of that already, that we will, at the end of it, come clean. Europe will go back into moderate growth. It's a rich, rich region of the world which cannot have a fabulous growth like China has had, but if it can get back into moderate growth, that will be wonderful for the world. Being the chief economist at the World Bank, can you crunch the numbers and, and, and put any figures on that in terms of the effect that it has on poverty levels, in terms of slowing down the reduction of poverty or, in fact, increasing the number of people below uh, the poverty line? The actual numbers will not go up. The numbers below the poverty line will not go up, also for the following reason that despite the global turbulence, at one level, this is a moment of opportunity for emerging countries to strengthen themselves and come out at the other end more vibrant. So it'll be a difficult period, but with focused policies on the poor, we can hold that line so the entire country may feel the turbulence, but we don't allow the numbers below the poverty line to increase. Everybody has been saying in the West, and the IMF has been saying, that Asia shouldn't rely on them, that they should build intra-Asian trade, and that's a cushion. But then we saw a slowdown in the Chinese economy, and China has huge implications for this region, for Latin America, for Africa, because it buys so many natural resources. What impact is the slowdown in China having in developing markets? Uh, See, there are uh, two sides to the Chinese slowdown. One is China has been growing at about 10 percent per annum for, from 1978. It's a phenomenal run for a big country. This cannot continue endlessly. So some slowdown in China's growth is only to be expected. What we are getting now is a sharpish correction, but let's not lose perspective. Even with this correction, China's growth is coming down to 7.7, 7.8%, which is disappointing only in contrast with China's prior performance. So yes, the moment of slowdown is choppy waters, for other countries, especially because China is so trade-oriented that virtually every country in the world is selling or buying from China in large measure. But if China can continue with a growth rate of 7 or 8 percent on a sustained basis, a large land mass and a population mass like China growing at 7 or 8 percent will still continue to be a very, very major driver of global growth. And what we saw, maybe not so much with QE3, but it's early days, but with QE2, a huge shunt of cash pushing up the Thai bar, pushing up other currencies. Are we going to see that volatility going forward, or, or do you think countries have found ways to get around it? With the global economy becoming almost a single space because the barriers have gone down, whether when money is injected into the economy, whether it happens in the United States, Japan, Switzerland, neighbor country, it flows sloshes about all over the world. And the emerging economies are very good suction points for this money. So a certain amount of these QEs, you call it by different names in different countries, but it's happening uh, in several places, will flow into emerging economies, bringing in some problems in the wake of this flow. But this is a part of modern life that we have to live with.